Hey guys, in this lesson I want to show you a really cool exercise for the right hand. It's kind of weird and it's kind of hard. We're playing what you could call a Roomba beat with a thumb. One and two and three and four. Also very often a tango beat. And we're playing this cool arpeggio figure on top. And this is the actual intro and outro of Liber Tango from the great tango master Astor Piazzolla. All right, check this out. If you know how to play a Roomba, you already know this beat. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. And there we have an accent on the one, on the and of two and the four. And let's play only those accents with the thumb. I'm playing the A string. One and two and three and four. Bum, bum. So the syncopation is in the middle of the measure or in the middle of those three things. One and two and four. One and two and three, four. That's easy enough to do, but we're gonna put some chords on top of it and then it's gonna not be easy. So let's look at these chords. It's gonna be A minor played this way. That really is just a D minor chord, except we're gonna have our pinky here and that's because we wanna have this toggling F note right there. Then we're gonna go down to what we could call is a B7 or a portion of a B7 chord. B7 over A to be exact. Okay. Then we're gonna go down to this if we were playing block chords. But in this example, instead of playing F there, we're gonna play it with our pinky like that. So don't play the B string on that one right there. Essentially, it's just this. Then have a B minor seven flat five or a D minor six chord with A in the bass. And then we're here on an A minor chord. Or we could even say it's an A11 chord. A minor 11. Like this. Ultimately, we're going to land on an A minor chord here. At the beginning of this video, I played pizzicato with my thumb. I was dampening the strings like this. It just gives you more attitude. To me, that sounds more like an Argentine tango because we don't like those bass notes to ring out. It just sounds more snappy to go. Okay. It's a more of a traditional um, tango kind of groove right there. But what we're going to do is this. This is what I was doing. So I'm muting that with my thumb or kind of not really my thumb but the side of my palm right here I would say though for now don't do that though because that's just going to trip us up let's just do it like this nice and free I'm just dividing this into its constituent elements so we did the bass and that really ends up being what makes it hard uh, combined with this but this part is not so bad so we're gonna go like this So every measure we're going to play on the and of one, uh, we're going to play the thumb on the one, but not the arpeggio thing. So this figure that I'm doing is happening on the and of one every time like this. One and two and three and four and. Now go down here and do kind of a partial bar. We can do, you can bar two strings or three if you like. So every time I hit the high E string, I strive to use my ring finger there. It feels better to me. You can use any finger that feels good to you. And then go like this. Now we do have to have a three string bar because we're going hammering this seventh fret, which is D onto this E note on the ninth fret. This is the case where we don't play the B string at all. So I'm playing that high B note with my ring finger here on the first string and then 10th fret and F natural. And then with my right hand, I'm using my index finger. That makes sense to me. If we're skipping a string, it feels good to skip a finger there. So I'm going ring finger, index, like that. Now we do a very similar thing down here, except there's no pinky involved. So that's good news. And we go. Those last two notes were just the first string and the second string. That's an A note and an E note. This is an A minor chord. So that's not so bad, but now let's try putting them together. octave there a on the d string seventh fret and the open a string getting this going fast is pretty tricky and if i were to make a mistake it's almost always on the fourth beat i end up leaving that one out a lot and i'm not sure why because 
Uh, it seems like the syncopated one, the accent that's on the and of two would be the hardest thing because it's on an upbeat. Um, but I don't know why I always make that mistake. But let's try to do it faster. Really cool riff when you get it down and a really great exercise and i love those exercises we've called it an exercise but it's an actual song there's so much fun stuff to play on the nylon string guitar argentine tango flamenco bossa nova classical all kinds of stuff i've got a whole bunch of courses and tabs and tutorials over at the versatileguitarist.com if you become a member you can get access to all my courses and everything that i have but until next time be calm and nylon